actually got a file in the Put your signature uh, uh, on the back, of, your name and signature on the back of, the, of your Opal car. On the back of? Your Opal car. Opal car? Yes.
Oh, yeah, lots of stories. Lots of good stories. And lots of vice versa. Lots of good stories. Someone had the Renault badges on the decals on it. Some had the Renault badges on it. That one just got withdrawn last August. We've got a backlog, you know, I'll do the office. Don't worry about poor old Peter Murphy there, dude. It's bad. This is my first church. We must be going to Bunnings to get some spare parts for the bus. Yes, that's what we love for you. So the nature is the ones that I like. This used to be fun up here too of the bus stop in Spears Road. But it was just, you'd just get into the lowest gear, they call them the And you'd stay there until you got to the next stop. They were so heavily governed. And, um, oh yeah. Oh, this used to be fun going. And they had the oldest, easiest buses on this road.
Maybe we have no idea what you just said. <laughs> can we can we have the English translation, please? Or can we have the enhanced audio? I can speak louder. What he was saying, the commentary that he's given is like the frequency. There's one now, then there won't be any more for five hours. <laughs> it's just basically the time, the way the timetable was set up. It's totally irregular. So this, so this on our right hand side was Harris Park's part of the photo. As you'll see, there's not much light there now. Oh, there's a wheelbarrow. Oh, there's a wheelbarrow. Oh, there's a wheelbarrow. Oh, my God. And someone's wrecked Toyota Land Cruiser. Feed up. Yes, please. And for about 10 years, there were four buses there. Three old and unwritten. Super to itself was strange. And one bus was a simulation of Harris Park in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> They'd run 20 minutes late and the driver would just get out and have a smoke or just have a talk to another driver. <laughs> <laughs> the management didn't care. No one worried about it. Stuff. And if you rang up, uh, there was a manager there called Arthur Millett and he was so super polite but he did nothing. He'd say, look, we are awfully sorry for the inconvenience that we've caused. And we do appreciate your call. We thank you very much for calling. <laughs> and it was one of those old phones that was nailed on the wall. And one day he went to check something and we forgot to let go of the phone and pulled it all out of the wall. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. No one could ring the company until it was, I suppose, it, what was it called in that? It wasn't Telstra, what was it? BMG. PMG. 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 Uh, PMG. PMG was the what distant predecessor of Telstra? Exactly, yeah. PMG. No, then, then, then it was telecom. And, and you're telling me they didn't have a shoe phone? <laughs> no, they didn't have they a did. shoe phone. <laughs> or a bull bar phone. Or <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> what they could have nicked, they could have nicked them from uh, they could have nicked them from the CIA if they wanted them. Yeah, did, did you enjoy your muffin that matched the secret fabric? No, I didn't get a muffin. <laughs> I was too busy outside. Oh, I didn't get a muffin, but that's all right. You get a muffin. Oh, you got a spare muffin? Yes. Oh, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw someone with a muffin. I saw Anthony here with a muffin. I thought, well, if you're having a muffin, you're not getting a nice muffin. Oh, oh, oh. Wait till the next. I've got to get a photo of that. That's a word. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Oh, my goodness. Nadine made bacon this morning. Oh, oh, oh from Nadine potatoes. Yes. No, not really. Yeah. No, shut up. I'll shout them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They're at the finger. They they just said it's at the fingertips, and they kind of like fl and they refuse to. They either refuse to use it or just they just don't want to use it. Period. What about the half fares? The driver's seat. The half fares ever. It's a great lie. Harris Park's one time. I struggle for you, mate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, 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 fuck's sake.